Hello and welcome to another Movie Magic Budgeting Tips and Tricks. I'm your host Stephen Kinchelik, and this video I'll be going over the feature of budget comparison. Now, as of July 1st, the Movie Magic Budgeting 7 beta has ended, but we're still going to be providing these videos. And even though I'm going to be using the Movie Magic Budgeting 7 interface, all these features and functionalities I'll be describing are still applicable to version 6.6. .6. So, with that being said, let me show you the feature that's been around since 6.6, .6, which is budget comparison. So here I am in the application, and one of the nice things about the budget comparison feature is that you don't have to have a budget open to uh, run it. You can just go up to File, Budget Comparison, and the Budget Comparison Report window comes up. And over here I've already navigated to where my budgets are located. And notice down here at the bottom, there's the file format drop down. And by default it selects, you know, the movie magic budgets or, you know, EP budgets. And but if I click on the drop down, you can notice that there's also the Vista Cost Report .vis files that you can use as a comparison also. So you can select either or or both. So you can actually compare a budget against a cost report uh, to see your actuals versus your budget. But I'm just going to select the budgets here and I'm going to select uh, a budget and click add and it brings it over to the budget list. So this is the this is the list of budgets that I'm going to be comparing. I'm going to select another, click add. I'm going to select a third and click add. And you can actually compare as many budgets as you want. Uh, 15, 20. I'm just going to use these three as an example. But uh, like I said, you can uh, do as many as you need to. And below that, notice that you're going to see what kind of report type it is. Do you want to just see the variance of the reports, an average of all the budgets? or both. I'm going to go ahead and select both uh, so we can uh, see how both of those come out. And you can select if you want to see all accounts, just the top sheet, or you can actually select a range of accounts if you're just looking to compare uh, a specific range of accounts. I'm going to leave it with all accounts and I'm going to click OK. And it's going to really quickly go through and run the budget comparison. And uh, notice I've got the first two budgets here, the total uh, variance for those two, average variance, and then the third budget that's uh, comparing the variance to. And it's showing you the percentage of the variance difference, and the total, and then the average. So that's what you get when you get both. The report looks a little bit differently if you select just one of the two options, uh, either variance or average. And uh, this is a sort of a static worksheet. You can't do a lot of work here, but uh, notice that down at the bottom, you right now we're looking at the top sheet only, and so then you can also select the accounts level. So some people missed that and wanted to point that out, that you've got your uh, tab for accounts and tab for the top sheet. But you can print this report out, and one thing to note is that you can also edit the header and footer of the report before you print, or print it out. Uh, you would select header or footer, and uh, the only reason I wanted to put the, point that out, some people miss it, and uh, you can put lots of information here, such as your show name and everything. So uh, make sure to check that out before you print out this report. And one other thing that we found a lot of users do uh, in you know with this workflow is because a lot of TV people use it to uh, start their you know, pattern budget, uh, you know, some people use it as a basis for their starting their cash flow, and they want to be able to sort of describe a lot of this data. So uh, what we found that some users do is you can click up in this corner here, and it will select all the fields uh, of what you're looking at, and you would hit Command-C to copy, and that's Control-C on Windows, and uh, some users go over to an application such as Excel, and they paste the data by hitting Command V, again Control V on Windows, and it pastes all that data into an Excel spreadsheet. And then you can go back over to budgeting and go over to the accounts level and do the same thing. Click in the corner to select all, hit Command C, go back over to Excel. I'm going to create a new tab or a new sheet and uh, hit con Command V or Control V. Um, and paste all that data again. So what that allows people to do is really get granular with the data and you know add columns for descriptions um, and or rows and really get in and sort of describe what the, why the variances occurred and everything that goes beyond the functionality of the budget comparison report.
So there's lots of applications for this feature. You can compare a five-day uh, work week versus a six-day work week and what, how that will affect the budget. You can uh, compare your .viz files from Vista to compare your actuals versus your uh, budget. You can compare just all your actuals. One thing to keep in mind is when you are comparing budgets, they have to be separate files. So if you did want to make some changes to a budget and compare it against the original, you would have to save your original, make the changes, and save that as a separate budget so that you can compare the two. So as you can see, there's lots of uses for that powerful feature. But maybe you have some feedback on it. And even though the beta has ended, you can still send that feedback to budgetingbeta at entertainmentpartners.com. Also, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can get updates on when we add new videos. And also you can follow us on Twitter, twitter.com slash movie underscore magic. And also be sure to check entertainmentpartners.com for all our new products and services. Thanks for watching.